Russian space experts are battling to fix a technical failure on board an interplanetary station that was heading to the Martian moon Phobos. The aim of the probe launched on Wednesday was to get a better knowledge of how the universe evolved, but there are fears the vehicle could crash back to Earth, having never reached its goal. Artis Tom Barton is at the Baikonur launch station in Kazakhstan and joins me now. Hello to you, Tom. So what are you hearing about the station's fate? Well, Marina, hopes were high when the Phobos rocket was launched from the Cosmodrome here in Baikonur in Kazakhstan last week. It was the first interplanetary mission Russia had launched in 15 years, and there was great hopes that it would help to reveal secrets about the Red Planet and about how life evolved. Those hopes have since turned to fears of a potential catastrophe. The boost stage of the rocket went okay. It went up into the orbit of Earth, but then problems started. The second stage was supposed to commence with the cruise rockets firing that would carry the Phobos spacecraft on its 10-month voyage to the Red Planet. They didn't fire. And since then, Mission Control has been frantically trying to work out what went wrong, whether it was a software failure or a hardware failure. The effect is the same. Repeated attempts have been made to try and make contact with the spacecraft and to issue it commands, uploading them via a software link. All of those so far have failed. And, and so far, the Russian space agency, Roscosmos, has been very tight-lipped. It has not said anything, uh, any official comment about what's happened. Unofficial sources and unnamed sources as yet say, though, that hope is running out to try and make contact with the shuttle. What does this all mean now, then? It means that far from going to the Red Planet, Phobos is most likely heading right back down to Earth. It's likely that it will happen about the end of November, the beginning of December, the predicted date given at the moment is the 26th of November, as Earth's gravitational field slowly pulls the, the spacecraft back into the atmosphere. The upper atmosphere is very turbulent, uh, but, and that was going to throw the rocket around as it comes back, but eventually it's going to have to land somewhere. The hopes are that it will land somewhere in the sea. The rocket is carrying about 10 tonnes of very toxic and highly flammable fuel and there's also a small amount of radioactive material in the equipment on board. The chances of it landing on a populated oh, area are very small and, the, and so are the chances that it will cause any harm. But the chance is there and that's what experts at Mission Control are trying to avoid. Even if it causes no harm to anyone, it's still a great loss to the scientific community. The rocket was going to try and collect dust and rock samples from Phobos, one of the moons of Mars. It was also carrying a fascinating experiment called LIFE, that's an acronym, uh, and that was to, to try and work out um, whether bacteria that it were carrying um, to test a theory that they may have been able to jump and the genetic material survive on Mars thus giving a lot of um, added information to the possible evolution of life on Earth. And it was also carrying a Chinese satellite that could have orbited Mars and given constant information on that. All that now, it seems, is lost. And the battle now is to try and work out where this uh, spacecraft Phobos will come down on Earth and trying to avoid any harm from that crash landing. Well, certainly uh, sounds like a shame there, but... Um and also sounds there'll be challenges ahead. Tom, thanks very much indeed uh, from bringing us this update from Cosmodrome uh, in Baikonur in Kazakhstan.